Welcome to the spoken tutorial on file operations on a device. In this tutorial, we will learn how to implement the basic file operations such as open and close on a device. To record this tutorial, I am using VirtualBox version 5.2. Ubuntu Linux 18.04 LTS operating system Linux kernel version 5.0.0-31 generic and gedit text editor To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with C programming language and basics of Linux kernel If not, then go through the C, C++ and Linux Spoken Tutorials on this website. Go to the device driver folder on the desktop. Here, I have created a new directory as file operations. In this directory, I have saved simple underscore driver dot C driver file, make file and user dot C. I will use these files for demonstration. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. We have already registered and created a device called new underscore device in the earlier tutorial. In this tutorial, we will perform file operations such as open and close on new underscore device. We will use a user program called user.c to access this device. Open the terminal by pressing Alt, Ctrl and T keys simultaneously. Go to the directory where file operations is saved in your system. Press Enter key after every command. Type gedit space simple underscore driver dot c. I have used the same file simple underscore driver dot c which we used earlier. I have implemented the basic file functions such as open and close for the device new underscore device. Let me explain the code. We have to include these header files to perform file related operations. The cdev.h header file is used to create the character device structure. The cdev structure is used to describe character devices in the Linux kernel. Here, my underscore cdev represents our device cdev structure in the kernel. Now, let us see how to implement the device file operations. File operations are defined in the kernel as the instance of struct file underscore operations. This is the most important structure of a driver defined in the fs.h file. Each field of this structure is a function pointer. Here, I have defined the file underscore operations structure for our device. We will implement two functions my device underscore open and my device underscore release in a driver. We have to declare the prototypes of these functions at the start of the driver. We get these functions declarations from the fs.h header file. Now, let us see the kernel's functions used to implement the file operations. The cdev underscore init function is used to initialize the members of the cdev structure. cdev specifies a pointer to the cdev structure to initialize. FOPS specifies a pointer to device 
file operation structure. In the init underscore function, we have already created a device, new underscore device and its class. After that, we have to initialize the C dev structure of a device as shown here. It will establish a connection between C dev structure and file underscore operations. C dev underscore add adds a C dev to the system to complete the registration of a device. It returns a negative error code on failure. P specifies the C dev structure for the device. Dev specifies a device number. Count specifies a number of consecutive minor numbers corresponding to this device. CDEV underscore add function is used to add the CDEV structure of new underscore device as shown here. If the registration fails, then we have to destroy a device and its class. Also, unregister the device from the system as shown here. This print K message will show the successful execution of the cdev underscore add function. Now, we will learn how to implement the device file functions. Here, I have defined the open function with a print K message. My device underscore open function gets executed when the user program opens the device. Print K message will display the success message in the kernel log level. Similarly, I have defined the release function with a print K message. My device underscore release function gets executed when the user program closes the device. Print K message will display the success message in the kernel log level. Let us see the exit function of a driver. cdev underscore del function will remove a cdev structure of a device from the kernel. cdev specifies the cdev structure to be removed. Here, we remove the cdev structure of a new underscore device before removing its file. Now, let us write the program to perform the file operations on the device file. Save and close the file. Switch back to the terminal. Type gedit user.c. Here, I have created a simple user program which will open and close the device. Open system call will internally call the open function of new underscore device from its driver. Printf function will print the message if the open function fails to open the new underscore device. Close system call will internally call the close function of new underscore device from its driver. Save and close the file. Switch back to the terminal. Let us create a make file to compile a driver. Type gedit space make file. Type this code in a make file or you can use the downloaded make file. Save and close the file. Let us compile the driver. Type sudo su and password to be a super user. Type make space all. Clear the screen. Now, let us load the driver into the kernel. Type ins mode space simple underscore driver dot ko. Clear the screen. Let us see the loaded print k messages from the 
initialization function. Type D message space pipe space grep space simple underscore driver. Here you can see the C dev structure of a new underscore device registered successfully. Clear the screen. Now let us compile the user.c file. Type gcc space hyphen c space user.c. Then type gcc space hyphen o space user space user dot o. Now to execute the program type dot slash user. The output shows that the new underscore device opened successfully. Clear the screen. Type the command as shown here. The output shows that open and close functions of the driver are executed successfully. It indicates that the new underscore device is opened and closed by the user program. Clear the screen. Now let us unload the driver. Type rm mode space simple underscore driver dot ko. To see the unloaded print k messages, type this d message command. It indicates that the c dev structure of a new underscore device is removed from the kernel. Clear the screen. Let us remove the object files created after the compilation. Type make space clean. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to implement the basic file operations such as open and close on a device. As an assignment, open the simple underscore driver dot c file. Write the different print k messages in the open and close functions. Compile and load the driver. Compile and execute the user program. Use d message command to check whether the device is opened or not. Unload the driver from the kernel. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical question on embedded Linux device driver? Please visit the FOSSI forum and post your question. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This Spoken Tutorial has been contributed by FOSSI and the Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. This is Usha signing off. Thanks for watching.